Hi everyone. Firstly, thanks to everyone supporting this channel. It's now reached 1000 subscribers, but you want to hear some percussion. So hopefully you've seen the first video I made on percussion where I sort of half jokingly threatened to do a South American percussion video to use all of those instruments that I missed. Well, I've done it. But first, there have been some updates to Muse Sounds Percussion that are worth mentioning, because they've fixed some of the problems from that other percussion video. First up, the triangle. There are two sounds. When we go to note input, pressing N, we can see over here there's a B and there's an A, which is a cross note head and a normal note head, and they now do play back differently, which is of course the normal triangle hit and the muted or held triangle. Sorry, percussionists, I don't know my terminology. I can't say I'm wild about that sound, but the fact that it's there, cool, I'm in. Another change, last time these snare drum rolls just suddenly went louder. Now, if anything, they reversed it, which is really just odd. Uh, let's increase the dynamic. I'm going to put it on this one as well. It's just a weird bug with things we'll talk about later. That actually sounds pretty decent. I would be happy with that. And one more change is that the vibraphone pedal actually works now. So let's have a listen to this. Uh, here, this section has pedal on, this section has pedal off. So we'll hear it ring a bit more in this section. That is fantastic. I'm going to enjoy playing with that so much. Okay, but there's some new stuff to listen to. So let's get into the Muse groove for percussion. As you can see, it's all of those instruments that I promised that I'd look at. Um, some of them I had to go and make. We'll, we'll go see some of those. Let's have a listen to what we've got so far. As usual, the good points first. All right, so these toms, I do like the sound. They sound a bit weak, but I like the sound that they have. That's a forte, would you believe it, on toms? Oh, I don't believe it. I know this was in the other video, but I do actually like this woodblock sound as well. It's a nice, natural, woody sound. This is also the default metronome sound, but you can also choose to change the metronome sound to, as I've done here, the actual metronome in Muse Sounds Percussion, which has an interesting sound. Let's have a listen to it. So I'll turn on my metronome and let's just solo the metronome. That's a less pitched metronome, which uh, I've heard some people using for music production things, uh, especially if you don't want the pitch to interfere with you. So cool, a new metronome to use if you want to do that. I'm sure there's a way to set it as the default. I don't know what that way is yet. Maybe it's something to look into. I've never used crotales, but I like the sound that rings so much. There is some potential for fun here. I'm enjoying the claves, 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 I don't know. It's a nice reverberant sound, and you can hear that there are round robins in these sounds. Yeah, those are all slightly different. Lovely. I'll be honest and say that I haven't played around with the instrument panel, except for when I was doing this score, because suddenly I found it really useful to be reordering uh, staves and renaming things, uh, very useful for that. So for instance, these metal wind chimes, I wanted them to actually be a bell tree. Did I put that in? Yes, I did. It's called the bell tree. So it is quite a simple 
task to go to the settings and rename it. Which is nice. It's also very simple to move things around. So the bongos are currently third in the system, but if I just drag them around, you can see the bongos moving down in, this, in real time, which is great to see. This is obviously not normally needed for orchestral scores, but uh, when I was dealing with a whole bunch of percussion and music score doesn't know what order I want them in, very, very useful. Another really useful thing, especially for something like claves or cabasa, is the rhythm only input setting. So I'll go here and change this to rhythm only. Now that I'm in note input, I can just click the, the numbers on my keyboard. So I'll go five, four, four, three, 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 four, four. And I've immediately got rhythms and I don't even have to think anymore about those. Um, it's not putting the rhythm, you know, the duration and then, and then the note. Uh, so yeah, a really useful feature for that. Just don't forget to right click and change it back to step time if you're working with other things. Okay, some criticisms or improvements. The triplets, hopefully you noticed, are very much broken. This is a known problem. It has been reported quite a while ago, I think. Um, and I think they're working hard on it. It's been, you know, escalated through the, through the system. These timbales, for instance. Just, yeah, no, it's, that's nothing like what it should sound like. Um, yeah, hopefully it should be fixed soon. While we're here with timbales, there should be two, right, timbales is two different drums, uh, each you know, one smaller than the other, so they have different pitch, and that's what I've written, but we're getting the same sound. So hopefully that's just a, like a mapping issue. I know that, um, that there is going to still be some mapping improvements. Field drum also in MuseScore has two different sounds available, this cross note head and the normal note head. But in Muse sounds, they come out exactly the same. I'm going to guess that it's a snares on, snares off. Sorry, field drummers, if I'm getting that completely wrong, but none of those are working. I have to say, I'm not a fan of this cowbell. Maybe it's just that I've grown up with different cowbell sounds, but this one just sounds a little ugly to me. I really would not picture that as a mezzo piano cowbell. Uh, also, while we're here, what was that weird dynamic gradual change that I didn't put in? So um, if it isn't already reported, I'll report it, but that is definitely happening. I'm not so impressed with the shaker sound or the maracas sound. It's, it's just a bit dry. There's none of that beads shaking realism that I'd look for. Perhaps I, again, I've been listening to the wrong kind of maracas. The bell tree is just not doing anything, unfortunately. Uh, and I've tried putting it on glockenspiel and then just changing the instrument. I've tried moving around octaves, nothing yet. So hopefully that's a quick fix and it can get fixed soon. Lots of people I know have been requesting uh, a generic percussion stave that you can then assign to all of these different instruments. At the moment, you have to have a stave that goes to one of these instruments and there's no possibility of combining them. So uh, I know that that would be a really useful feature. However, it is a new feature and not necessarily a bug. So I suspect that it's not gonna get fixed for a while, but we can hope. That's a lot more user-friendly and, and familiar for people working with bands and orchestras to have a lot of these extra percussion things in one stave. Okay, that's it from me for now. Look out for more updates coming soon.